Hello, welcome. This is Dale Myers with Vision Advance. Today we're going to talk about the best business for you to launch. And I have to stress to you because, well, business is a personal thing. What works for me probably won't work for you. When you're trying to find out the, uh, the best business idea, what will you be a success at? Take my advice with a grain of salt. Take whatever expert you talk to with a grain of salt. Now, you take the facts about how to find ideas, but in terms of what works for you, we're going to talk about the things that will make that reality come true. Um, could you get into real estate? 100%. Could you be an internet marketer? Could you drop ship? Could you, be, could you do affiliate marketing? Certainly. Could you flip homes? Could you? I mean, it's a lot of things you could do, but do you like doing those things? Um, so there are three main areas that we need to look at when we're talking about what's the right business for you. It's about the perfect match is going to involve what are your existing talents or skills? Or we could go a little further and say, what are the existing talents and skills or the skills that you already intend to acquire? So if you, so I would take some time, I would literally write down, what am I good at? What are some things that uh, during my employment or just volunteer basis that people have remarked, wow, you're very good at this? Uh, do I have a track record of achievement in certain areas? I would list those skills out in, in those general fields, so to speak. And then <clears throat> there is, well, what do I really like to do? Um, do you like to sew? Do you like to golf? What are you very, very passionate about? And the reason you really want to find something you're passionate about is don't believe all the drop ship, the build a funnel and make millions of dollars stuff. Yes, you can, but it will not happen overnight. They are lying to you. It's not going to happen overnight. I pray for you that it does happen quickly with the right um, coaching and building the correct skills and putting the correct processes and people in place. You can certainly expedite this process, but it's not going to happen overnight. So don't believe that. Um, since it's not going to be overnight, please prepare yourself for a three to five year journey. If you're not willing to commit three to five years to learning this process, you're probably wasting your time, your money or someone else's money. And a lot of time away from your family, a lot of time spent doing other things that you could do. Again, if you're looking for the get rich quick, doesn't really exist in business. Um, rare exceptions, but you can put in tried and true processes and you can almost ensure your a certain level of success. So we said that there was one thing, find out something that you've already been good at. That was the first step. List out the things you've already had some success at. And I didn't say this, but you can even ask your friends, ask your superiors or people that work with you right now. Hey, what do you think that I'm good at? What are some things that you think would be a good fit for me if I'm trying to find some extra income or some, or if I wanted to skill up, get some additional skills in that area? That was the first thing. The second thing I said was find something that you are passionate about. And the reason, again, is because you are in this for the long haul. If you are not passionate about it, you're going to quit because here's the truth of the matter. Entrepreneurship is the ultimate roller coaster. I'm an engineer and a scientist by training. I love solving problems. Running a business is the ultimate problem. It's like an unsolvable riddle, but sometimes you can't solve it. Um, but then again, you think you got to solve and here comes another issue. Oh, you know, so um, it is up and it's down. Um, you will have great months. You will have down months. Um, so... If you are not really passionate about what you're doing during those down times, you're going to give it up too soon or um, you will never get to um, break through on the other side. So um, many businesses, again, I've, I've had some successes, some failures, um, but it takes time. It does take time um, right now. This is day two of a uh, 90 day video challenge for me. Um, I already have two businesses. Um, what you see in my t-shirt is my the one I've been doing for the last few years is tutoring and test prep, some, some uh, occasional seasonal football training. 
And then um, I also do some business training and business consulting. And again, that's just an additional source of revenue because I'm not trying to turn into a, a jet set or fly around the globe kind of thing. But I do help other entrepreneurs with their business. Um, th these have been working and will continue to work. Well, my goal, though, is I'm also going to try to build a lifestyle business. That's also, truthfully, that's one of the reasons why I am doing this video. I love helping people. That's also what led me to go into to teaching, which I was an engineer and was running my own business for a while, but eventually went into teaching and coaching. Um, and we'll talk about that for another day. But I love teaching, so that's why I'm doing this video, because I love helping people. Um, it means the most to me to see improvement in the into the lives of others. So I'm building the site so that over time, over the next few years, after doing hundreds of videos and writing hundreds of blog posts, YouTube and the world will recognize me as an authority. And I should be getting some residual income from it. Did I tell you it was going to happen in 90 days? No, I am doing a 90 day challenge. So for the next 90 days, I'll be doing at least one video a day, sometimes two or three. But it's going to be beyond that. It's a long term play. But it's worth it to me to, to spend three to five years to build this because, one, I already enjoy teaching. I love helping people. I have expertise that can assist others. I'm also constantly reading and I am skilling up. I'm constantly, constantly learning new things to help my family, but also enrich yours. So, again, this last point was about find something that you're good at, but you're also interested in. Do not chase money. The last thing, even though I spent the last probably three to five minutes talking about finding something that you are uh, passionate about, there has to be a market need. If you're going to sell a product or service, there has to be a market need. Now, years ago, someone would say to you, well, no one cares about basket weaving. You can't, you know, uh, what's the market for basket weaving per se? That, that may be a bad example, but, you know, um, People say not enough people are interested in that. But nowadays, there are people having um, YouTube channels like this one, um, selling, making thousands, tens of thousands of dollars every month on basket weaving. I know a lady, uh, I'm, I'm getting ready to offer a few online courses, and I know a lady that makes a few hundred thousand a year um, talking about she helps women release their energies through the joy of hula hooping. Five years ago, if I said to you that I was going to start a business and talking about hula hoops, you'd be look, you would have looked at me and that woman like she was crazy. But the reality of it is she found something that she was passionate about. She began making videos and it, other people found it helpful. They engaged with her and her content and they asked for more. And over the next few years, she built a lucrative business. Notice I said the next few years. Notice it was something that she was already passionate about. She already had some skills. I think she was already some sort of fitness or yoga or dance instructor or something like that. Forgive the phone. This is live and hey, it is what it is. Um, so to recap, what is the perfect business? That's for you to figure out. Um, I, my goal is to give you tools to help you get there. Sit down. Take an account of your skills, a skills inventory. What am I good at? What do I desire to be good at? And it doesn't matter today. Don't look at today as a, as a barometer of where you're going. Think five years in the future, 10 years. Think at least one year in the future. If you don't like where you are, what can you do today so that one year from now, your situation will be different? I'm going to make a video in the next uh, week about that. Um, what we can do right now to change our circumstance. Today is today we have to deal with it, but there are certain practical steps you can take so that one year from now, your life is in a total different place. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Again, my name is Dale Myers. Um, you can see me, of course, Vision Advance, the channel. If you need help getting that business off the ground, we, we of course, would love to help you, even if it's just a phone call to um, make sure you're going in the right direction. Um, Vision Advance will take you to Vision Shaper Consulting. We also do um, the other business. We do tutoring and test prep. If I lean to the side, mathandsciencedude.com, that's one way to get there. Again, I am so pleased that um, you decided to join me today. Find your perfect business. 
List your skills. That's number one. What you're passionate about. That's a powerful number two. And lastly, find the market intersection. What is the market desiring? Today, it's easier for you to find that in the market using uh I'm using YouTube and a little Facebook, but of course you have Twitter. There are so many ways for you to engage your audience now. And as you might expect, future videos are going to tell you and teach you how to do it. So I don't just want to provide, tell you about problems and stuff. I want to actually provide a solution. So again, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, this is day two of my 90 day challenge. Dale Myers, so pleased that you would allow me to inconvenience, uh, inconvenience you on today. Um, here we are. Have a good one.